Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking on. My name is Queen and welcome to my channel, Queen Star. First of all, yes, I did have a haircut yesterday. I'm still getting used to it. It's very, very wispy and layered. I haven't had these kind of layer and thinness since about my teenage years. So I'm still getting used to it. My sister said it's really youthful looking. Let me know what you think. They've definitely taken off a lot of length, but the longest part is still pretty long at the bottom at the back as well but is very very thin i'm hopping on today to show some of my most recent favorite items and because we're traveling next week so i'm putting together a listing of items that i'll be bringing to achieve a really quick but polished look but because i'm a bit of a maximum packer i might be bringing a little more so i have options when i'm there the very first item that i've been really really hiding is this one from john samuel this is a cushion concealer so you can use this as a concealer but for me this is a concealer corrector foundation as well this color matches me perfectly i got the lightest shade as well so i can use this as a brightener tapping the applicator into the cushion and then onto this patterned area on the lid to remove any excess and spread out the product evenly on the applicator and i'll apply this on this area first You guys know my moustache area or the darkness around my mouth is my most conscious. So I always tackle this area first. When I have this area kind of evened out, I feel happy. And then it's just a matter of bringing this to anywhere on the face that you need coverage. You can see the difference, this is without, this is with. It's very, very thin coverage. I like to use another half layer just around the mouth to finish things off. If I want a bit of brightness, using the lightest shade, Fair Light, it's using this on this part of the face to bring out the cheeks. I want to bring a little bit of dimension to the nose using a stick contour, this small. This is from Etude House. Just apply it to the size of the nose and the pointy part. Because this is a cream, you can just blend it out with your fingers. For blush, I've been really liking this one from YSL. The color I have here is in 44. It's super easy to use. I like to apply it on my hand first and tap in with fingers. I love how this liquid blush, the color is not intimidating. So when it's on the skin, it's super easy to blend out and the pigmentation level is just right. When you're on holiday, I feel you need these kind of makeup in which it applies really quickly and yet it gives you the most beautiful finished look. And of course, I was curious, so I got the lilac shade as well. On me personally, it doesn't show up quite a bit, but I like to use this as a color mixer if I want to turn my blush into a more cooler toned or more natural toned. I'll show you guys on the skin, only because this blush, first of all, it's very, very lightweight. And this color doesn't really show up. So I just like to use this as a blush topper if I want to cool down my blush color. On the hand, you can see there's a little bit of pinkness, lilac -like coming through, but on the face, it's not that much of a difference. For powder, I've been using this one from Elegance. The shade I have here is in 6VI, but I'm not sure if I'll be bringing this one, this exact one, only because 
first of all you guys can see I've loved this tremendously and if I do bring this it'll be falling apart so I do have another one of this but it's in another shade this powder for me is just the it powder it's the perfect setting powder it's tremendously thin it does not cake up on the face it creates a beautiful luminous finish and it's super easy to blend you can see I just haphazardly dab this all over the face and it gives this soft silk like finish and I know my brush is big they do include a really useful powder puff in here and I just go in swipe some product and dab onto some areas that I want pinpoint powdering. And that just brings the shine even down further. For powder blush, I've been seeing this one trending recently again. This is the Hourglass Mood Exposure. This is the perfect everyday blush. The blush you'll grab if you don't know what to wear. And it gives you a beautiful look every time. Going in with the eyes now, I like to wipe off any excess product on my lid with my fingers first just to give the best chance for my eyeshadow later on. And then my trusty NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Primer. I like to apply it on first and then do my brows so that the primer can cook on the lid space. For the brows, I've been using this new Suku Brow Pencil. I haven't formed a real opinion yet, only because I don't really have high expectations or requirements for brow products been doing the job and I've been liking it it's pretty much one brow done then I just let the spoolie do the blending work going in with eyeshadow I've been really liking these ones from a Chinese brand called Mao Ge Ping I chose these two shades specifically because it's the easy, perfect base shade. Going in with the lightest base shade. If you guys are wondering what brush I'm using, it's the newest collection from Refa. It's the Shodo collection. Using the Shodo 03 brush, and with this shade, it's a matte light brown. I love these eyeshadows because it's super easy to apply. And on the lid, it's just gives you a ethereal finish. It's not patchy. It's so smooth, the colour is just right and the staying power is great as well. So it's great for a really quick look and if I'm going overseas and want to spend, what, 20 minutes doing my makeup in the morning. This is perfect. If I was rushed with time, I'll just leave the eyes like this, run it through with some mascara and of course lips and go out the door. But because today I'm a little bit extra, I want to use this new Tom Ford eyeshadow palette in the shade Meteorites, specifically the top two sparkly shades. And the reason I'm bringing this along is because of tax return purposes. I've purchased a whole lot of makeup before we're going away so that we can do a little bit of tax return slash savings. So just going in with the top sparkly glitter shade with my fingers, applying this as a topper on the lid space.
because I love both of the sparkly shades in this palette, going in with the purple as well, this one. Just on the center of the lids. And this will give you a very beautiful, cool tone eyes. Also from Tom Ford, I got their new gel eyeliner pencil. The shade I'll be grabbing is the Cocoa shade. And just running this on the outer lash line, create a very, very small wing. This gel eyeliner has really great staying power on its own, but because I have this palette, I'm going to be using this brown shade and a pencil brush. Just set it on top of that gel liner. I know I'm using a little bit of excess makeup today, but you can tell I get really giddy when I play with makeup. I can say my eyes are finally finished and going in with mascara now. This one's really special and I believe it's only in the Asian market. So it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara and this is the Tinted Primer. I love this one because first of all, it gives you color. And second, I think it's catered to me personally because I have the most stick straight lashes ever and this is able to keep up the curl. For lips, I'm going to be grabbing my trusty lipstick from YSL. This is in the shade N157. It's the perfect nudie rose shade. If you don't like it too bright, just go in with the tissue and just dab it down. See how that was an instant blotting effect to the lips? And now I have this hazy tint effect on the lips. This is the finished look. I'm going to be packing everything that I used today in this little handy merit bag. Super easy to see everything that you have inside. And also, I'm gonna be keeping this for another week. We're not leaving until the week after. The reason being is because I can assess whether everything I'm bringing in here is sufficient. And throughout the week, if I need to bring anything more, I can just pop it in this little bag. But this week, I'll be using my makeup from this bag. Highlighter that I just received today, and I'm really excited about, so I might be bringing this one. This is the Amani Luminous Silk Aqua Highlighter. The shade I have here is in 03. I swatched it before I did this video and it's absolutely gorgeous because first of all, it's a liquid highlighter. There's no large sparkles, but it's able to give you a glossy effect. That's it right there. See how I move my hand? It gives you a glossy effect and this is with it dried down. There's no large sparkles in here. It's absolutely beautiful. The finish is gorgeous, so I'm mesmerized by how it looks on the hand, so I'll definitely bring this one now. With the highlighter, I also got this one. This is the new Guerlain Limited Edition Holiday Collection. This is their pearl powder. This is actually my first pearl powder from Guerlain. I got it majorly due to the packaging. So here it is. And that's everything in my travel makeup bag for now. For this year's holiday, we're actually going to China again. The two cities that we're going to is Shanghai and Chongqing. I'm actually from Shanghai, so it's super exciting to go back. If you guys have any questions, please do leave them down below. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe down below as well. It's your biggest form of encouragement for me. Thank you guys so much. And remember, confidence radiates beauty. Hence, you're beautiful. Bye.